one after another all of our girls are just gone and what is shido doing having the time of his life against westcott man the kamehameha way of beating westcott it kind of seemed dumb at first but then if you really think about it how do we counter someone that seems to just know everything that you know we use a power that we even forgot about season three ending when origami roofied us and she don't went crazy with the powers fucking kamehameha and it fucking worked and i was like well shit he did it i'm a little disappointed that I, I was always saying like, yo, I know Westcott has like all these crazy powers, but I haven't actually seen him use magic per se, right? I guess we didn't really have a chance to do that, but hey, Westcott is seemingly down. And now, how many girls are left? They're all done. I thought that Mio would save Toka. I, I think um, Natsumi and Miku are still alive, right? Or are they gone? No, no, no. They got impaled near the end too. I think that's pretty much it. All gone. All gone. And now, this should be the moment where Shido is able to, like, kiss Mio. And if he does kiss Mio while she has all the powers, if we just follow the same formula of what we did to the previous spirits, shouldn't we seal her, get the powers back, and my man goes, Ha! <laughs> Zafkil! You'd bet! Go back in time or a different timeline, prevent all this happening, and then we have a happy ending. I feel like that is the most intuitive way that this should be resolved. But a lot of people are saying that, um... A lot, a lot of people are saying that today's episode is going to be fucking insane. So, hey, we'll find out. Let's begin today's reaction. Toka? Why just Toka, though? And there is such an importance in, like, Toka and Mio and how they, like, parallel each other. Even the dates, right? The dates between Shin and Mio and Toka and Shiro uncanny well today's episode answered my questions on why we named yatogami toka so this is basically toka in mio right now Pinka. and i shouldn't know her name i shouldn't know her name but i already know her name because you motherfuckers spoiled me in season two tenka is she saying it now what what she got no name but i thought she's supposed to be tenka what wait Wait! I am you. Okay, Yutadori. Itadori Yuji. It's not a dream, but it is a dream. Yeah, we are inside her. Because she's special. Okay, so Toka's not dead. Okay, okay, okay. So everyone else is... So she did leave Toka till the end. She did say, you know, I, I will leave Toka till the end. So Toka's alive within Mio. That is humans. There's a lot of humans. Yeah, which ones are still... Should be actual spirits. I y Yoshino is a spirit, right? Yeah, yeah. Miku is also a human turned spirit. There's other... Natsumi? Do I know? I don't know. But they already had their names. So only Toka is true spirit. Everyone else was actually human and was actually granted Sephira by the Phantom. That's true. That's confirmed now. Lost memories Mio erased? Oh, that's right. Mia proposed the most crazy thing, right? Nia said in the rooftop episode. It's like, did we start as spirits or inverse? She said something like that, right? She was like, were we all normally spirits or in... Like, what is the default or something, something like that, right? Because you're special. Because she's not a human. Now, Mio gave birth to Shido. It's seeming like Toka is the daughter of somebody. Mio and... There's no way Mio and Sh Sh Shido, Shin's son, daughter is Toka, and then we're dating our incest. How does that work? If, 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 if Toka is actually daughter... We're... So you know how Kotori and... She though, I, I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Y'all, we can't do incest. And it was like, oh, Oni-chan! I'm actually not Takamiya, I'm Itsuka. And you're, 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 so it's like, okay, this is like legal incest, all right. And, and then Mana showed up, it's like, Takamiya, okay, this is actual incest. 
and now this is like tripling down because Shido and Toka may actually be from the same. I don't know how this works anymore. I, 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 I. Sister from another mother. Sister from the same mother. You didn't tell me shit! She's like, that's because. Opening plays. Opening ends. And what I have just told you is everything I understand. Oh, wow. I'm glad I heard everything, Tenka. Goddamn. Mm. That's surprising because she's dumb usually, right? What did you talk about? Then I can save everybody. Well, yeah, they, they, they all are the mom. Like, like obviously, like, yeah, every spirit is the mom. This isn't in confirming that Toka is literally, like, from, like, Mio birthed. But, like, yeah, everybody technically is mom, right? Like, even Yoshino's mom is, like, Mio because she's, like, the origin spirit. And then the, the, the thing that I really want to confirm, whether or not she come out of that fucking pussy or not, is that's not confirmed. Nice speech. So help out. She did? Like right now, her visiting Toka is like calling out. <laughs> I'm like, where the hands going? Where the hands going? Boing. Thank you, me. Yeah, thank you, me. I'm gonna push you out, and then Toka's back. And Shiro's still here. Oh, that's CGI. <laughs> Someone should fucking make a meme of this scene right over here where CGI Shido falls to his knees and say, This is how we, the day to life fans, have lost this since Geek Toys has taken over the production value, bro. Look, <laughs> just, just perish in CGI. <laughs> well, bitch, you killed all the girls. Now what? How are you gonna expect them to love you? That's a crazy ass bitch, bro. She just kills every one of your girlfriend and then erases your memory and then says, look, I'm your girlfriend now. That is an insane person. <laughs> like, <laughs> Mio's actions, like, people are like, is it justified? This is it not? I don't really care. But like, bro, imagine like killing all your girlfriends and then erasing your memory and then gaslighting. It's like, yeah, I'm the real one, by the way. Inverse theme. Inverse theme! Shida will die and Shinji will come back. Toka should show up anytime now, right? Here it is, here it is! But can we do this? I don't know if we can do this. She's so strong. Okay, therapist Toka, easy. We're back. That's crazy. That, 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 look at this, look at this, the way he gets up. Bro. <laughs> Give Tanka some credit, man. What the fuck did Shido do? He just fucking clapped. He, he arrived here, clapped on his knee, and was like, oh, it's over. And Tenka just gave that whole entire speech and then intro. What the fuck? I feel like Tenka should be getting all the fucking credits here, man. Why is she so important? Exception, Toka. Its own consciousness. So, like, of the ten Sephira, nine of them went to humans, 
turn to spirits and we know everyone else, right? That That's everyone except Toko. And then Toko, Sephira, it was like, we didn't even need to give it to him. It just like blossomed by itself. So now it makes sense why she doesn't even have a name. But why did that happen? That's not nice. I mean, what the fuck? That's your daughter. I know Toko rides the short bus to school. You don't have to say it when everyone else is there. That's fucked up. Really? Really? Listen, I know Toka's not the smartest, but she's like a golden retriever to me. And I accept her, even if she has an IQ of a room temperature, okay? The name! I wasn't schizo! I've been asking this from the fucking beginning, bro! Straight up, episode two or something, we named Toka. Then we made Yoshino. I'm like, why don't we name Yoshino? Why didn't we name other girls? What the fuck is going on? This was actually important. Oh my god, Hanya. Oh, 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 oh my, oh my god. Natsumi, you're looking real nice there. Flexing the armpits. I'm down? But we're still in her domain. Like, how are we gonna win? <laughs> huh? What, what, what? Wait! It did damage! It did that. Wait, 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 wait! It actually cut a piece of her cloth, I think! I think that's even donating everything. Yeah! The gods can bleed. Only Toka can do it. Only Toka can override? But she wasn't able to do it before, right? In a domain like this, can't she just like turn that shit offline? But now it's looking like Toka actually can make the gods bleed because she and Mio are the same as in they were just spawned out of fucking nothing off of Zephyr. I don't know. We got revenge on the girls. We got we cut the cloth off. Yeah. <laughs> Mio, Mio went for, you know, with people like this, sometimes they're not taking it seriously. They're like, this, and then. Locked in, just. She's like, oh, yep, yeah, okay. Town, town up. Actually get, actually get serious. Locked in. So this one. She stole the pop. What? When we're in her, we like. The girl like kind of gave us power. We kind of took that. She's powered up Toka right now. I still thought that Reality Marble, this domain expansion, she could still like, you know, choose to turn everything off. I guess that's like a good explanation here, right? I mean, if you're something like my counterpart, right? They are kind of like similar. That's why she is an exception. I, I guess that makes sense, yeah? But I want to know why she is the exception. Okay, super powered Toka. Harbana Herbu! Harbana Herbu! What was that? Whoa, I don't remember this. What was this? A little bitch? Does she say this before in activating Harbon Heb? Because I know it's like... Is it new? This is... Because like I... Oh, it's brand new. New... Oh, it's not going to be Harbon Heb only. It's going to be like Harbon Heb plus now. Okay. <laughs> Something else there. Harbon Heb 2. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. The astral dress also changed. Not just the weapon. We got a completely new drip. Taking some inspiration from Elliot. <laughs> this is why Toka is the OG girl. Y'all gotta respect Toka, man. Toka, like, has been there from the fucking beginning, man. Toka. That fucking cheeky bear fucking survived the cut. <laughs> that cheeky bear fucking survived the cut, bro. Would have been funny if we fucking sliced this fucking bear in half. 
Does she got a new form too? Sof? <laughs> what do you mean, Ein? Ein? Disappears? What? Hello? We were doing so well. The, the light isn't even... Because, like, this is Toka's light. But it's, it's dim right now. The angel of nothingness. She's, like, literally disintegrated. Dead. In this world. That's why we just have to fucking steal Zafkiel. Yod bet. We gotta go back. Does anyone have control Z power here? If, if she can just delete... Does anyone have control Z? Does, does anybody have a control Z right now? That would be very useful. Respect to Toka, but... Give Toka the prey! Where? She dead! Bro, maybe it's time to pull up the Kamehameha. What could we do here? And I don't think Toka's actually dead. Like, she's dead in this world, but like, let's get serious. These girls aren't permanently dead. No one actually thinks they're dead, right? Am I the only one that thinks that? Are they actually dead? Am I gonna regret laughing at all the girls dying in the last episode? Uh oh. Is there, is there anything we could do? Muse is gonna turn us into shit. We forget memories and we just like, done? Or? Maybe like... If we do go that path of like turning into Shin and forgetting memories, maybe we'll like Mio and Shin will then try to live like a normal life, but then memories of a distant future or something will slowly start to intrude into Shin's mind and then he'll realize something. But still, we need Zafkiel to do everything, right? That's for my girl Origami! That's for that fucking fraud Yoshino ventriloquism! She should stay in Nilfor more. Oh. Luck! Ooh. You know what's crazy? You, remember, you know what's crazy? Remember when, in, when Shido first, you know, summoned Sandalf on his powers like that? Right? It should be so painful that we need Kamal to heal the entire time. Bro is like using like nine separate spirits at the fucking same time. How far we've come, man. The fight sequences here. Kind of unfortunate that it was kind of shitty CGI here and there, but Toka and, you know, Mio's fight was pretty good. <laughs> GG, time to turn into Shin and forget <laughs> memories. <laughs> kiss. I wonder what happens if he kissed, though. Just kiss. <laughs> Wait! Tenka? What beam attack is this? It's some inverse. Westcott's not here, right? He's dead. Who could this be? This beam attack? Tenka? Who is this? What? What? How? That's why they played the fucking Kudumi theme earlier. That's why they played the fucking Kudumi theme earlier. You hear that laugh, you know who's back. None. I thought you dead. Is she from the OVA? I I is this the Kudumi from Data Bullet? What's happening right now? Because the Kudumi between OG is dead. Five years ago is dead. But the Data Bullet is still around in a distant world and shit like that, right? Which one? Data bullet. No? She just wanted to make us feel scared and wanting Kurumi back? What, what, what is this? Yodu Arufu. I forget which power that one is. 11. Yeah. Sent to the future from roughly an hour. So basically... How did, how did the hour ago Kurumi get that knowledge? Somehow she was tipped off. Yod at at it, and then we went into the future. So okay, okay. She back. That's what that was. 
I mean, they didn't show us this scene, right? This is extra scenes. Because all I remember is Kurumi just getting donated and then she, it look, I, I forget that she even shot here. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy, bro. <laughs> Yodo Aleph, one hour into the future. Okay, but that's great. Kurumi's back. Kurumi's back. That's amazing. But... The only reason the god could bleed is because Toka had some bullshit powers that she stole from other spirits and, you know, more powers. Ain't she gonna get donated again? I feel like this is the perfect time to do these Yod Bet right now. Like, fucking kiss Shido, Yod Bet. Let's go back and solve shit. Like, what are we doing? I can't. But this person can. Boom comes Tenka. Tenka's probably dead right now, right? What was that mechanic? What was the mechanic? I can exist as long as the spirit power imbued in your life. Well, I don't know how long that lasts. So, even if she gets donutted, she's like an in invincible mode. She is in god mode right now, only bound by time. Even if Ein's. Wouldn't Ainz just change everything here? But it's looking like she's almost like insanely strong while this... Because she can't like take quote-unquote damage because she can exist as long as this time limit is up. Let's go. Kurumi! She gonna be fine? Seventeen fifty four. Seventeen fifty four. She lasted less than two minutes. She she lasted less than two minutes. <laughs> she came back to get to that. No, no, she's not gonna go down like this, right? There's, there's no way she got a different plan, right? There's a different plan, right? No, 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 no. What the fuck? Are you serious? What was the point? Oh, that was so hype. Kurumi coming back was so fucking hype. Oh, it was so hype and then she... I think she's unless we're getting baited uh, unless there's a different plan right now there's like plans within plans right now maybe there's a crazy another plan guys okay now what the kiss Okay, that's right. Kaguya. Holy fuck, we have a lot of girlfriends. Holy shit, that's a lot of girlfriends. Toka. Demo Orenua Mohitotake. Tenshi no Chikaraga no Kote Tanda. Of one angel of left. Am I forgetting something? Am, am I 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 forgetting something? Am, am, am I? I'm forgetting something. I season four. I'm going back to season four. But I may have forgotten fucking everything. Uh, I'm just gonna guess that he somehow has Zafkiel. Zafkiel somehow. Zafkiel somehow. Zafkiel! There it is! Holy shit, it's happening! You'd bet! Do it! And. Oh! That was your bet, right? That was your bet, right? That was a, I, I, don't, I don't know which one. It's just back and past. Just back and past. This is just back and past. We're just past. This is past. This is past. Vav. Vav. That kiss. And then the way Kurumi fucking mentioned the kiss before she got donated. It's almost as if she was hinting at us, right? Before she died, it's almost as if she got fucking, you know. It's almost as if she, like, uh, what's it called? Hinted at us that you know that kiss. Remember that shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see that scene again. That, I wanna, I've seen like this art, bro. Holy, shit. is this light novel art? 
It's kind of like reminiscent of it, I think, right? <laughs> and now, with this information, what can we do? I don't know. Tuka! What's going on? Oh yeah, they did have like a one-on-one -on -one time, right? With Toka. This is episode two. Shit, everyone died and I came back from the past. Okay. I don't feel like a dummy anymore for laughing at all the girls dying, bro. All the girls dying, Elliot dying. I laughed at every single one of them. Not, I didn't laugh at every single one of them. I was especially mean to Yoshino. She was a fucking fraud. But hey, did you guys actually think that the girls are gonna die? Come on. It's like, how am I supposed to feel any sort of desperation, some sort of... Things are at the stakes, like this could be permanent if we have, you know, Zaf kill like that, right? That's why I was just kind of memeing around. Why is it so blurry? <laughs> why the fuck is it so blurry? I know it's supposed to be like past memories from season 1, 2, 3, con 4, 5 content, but like, damn. Hmm? Hmm。おお。レイネ。レイネさん。どうかしたかしろ。明日 We're doing it. We're fucking doing it. <laughs> We're fucking finally doing it! Take a radio on a date! Dana san. Ashta. Ore to Dato Shimasenka. Dato! Oh man! What a fucking episode. Yeah, this is peak today. This is easy fucking peak tier list today, bro. Holy shit. Shall we start our day with their mom's clone right now? Holy fuck. That was fucking cinema. Everything that we've done up till now has been kind of like erased, canceled. So even us flexing in front of the students, like our fellow classmates, the powers, that never happened. All those vulnerabilities gone, liabilities gone, and we can start fresh, regressing back into time. And now it seems like the answer is Riz up Rene in a date so that what? We can. What happens if we kiss a clone? I have no clue what the mechanics of this is gonna be. We'll date Reine, we'll make her feel good, remember her feelings for Shin. Maybe if, you know, Mio, the real one, you know, and, and combines with the clone, then those memories will flash back and then uh, uh, fucking Mio will realize, you know what, you know, sharing Tishido with everybody else and having such a family is not so bad or something. I, I don't know. I don't know, but next episode it's looking like we're going on a date because the last couple episodes has been pretty heavy. There's heavy fights, a lot of deaths. Tenka's name is still not mentioned, by the way. I can't believe you motherfuckers. But this is kind of interesting, though. Don't spoil me this, though. Even if you guys spoil me on the name, what's kind of interesting is I was expecting for her to say Tenka, yet she hasn't named herself or we just didn't have a name yet. So at least there's that mystery going on for me. Rest of the fights, Toka versus Mio was pretty good. I think that for the most part, Toka versus Mio, there was minimal CGI, if any, and it was actually pretty damn good, right? But the Shido, uh, the, uh, I don't know. I, I, I feel like after that, then there was some random wonky, you know, Shido got a lot of CGI scenes. Kurumi coming back was fucking insane. Kurumi coming back here was fucking insane. This is what happens when you don't memorize every one of the bullets. All I know is that Kurumi can like fast forward, pause, stop time, go really back in time with you would bet. But there was also 11, which is send into the future. So when she got donated, she passed it off to the clone, which was one hour ago, sent to the future, which is now. That's how she saved us. And then 
she hinted the kiss. The kiss that I forgot, right? And then with that, we use Zafkiel into one of the marble, probably one of the most like iconic moments of Data Live, right? This is probably one of the most iconic scenes in Data Live. Shido pointing the gun to his head, saying, Did he say Zafkiel? No, he just said, did, did he say Zafkiel here? I'm not sure if he did. He just said Vav, right? And then he went, and, and then we're back. And then we're back. Oh, did he say Zafkiel Vav? Okay, okay, okay. Thank God he fucking did. I'm like, if he only said, Whoa, that would have been bad. But hey, it's looking like we're going on a date. And depending on how well we do this, we can save everyone. And if we fuck up again, well, maybe could be clutches or we fucking go back in time again and we can just fucking keep repeating. And that's pretty much it. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content or uh, for more content. And until next time, Take care.